Her on. Hi guys, hi Sandy, hi Rosie. Hope you guys are having a good day. I am here with Sherm. He's very chatty today. Hi. Say hi Sherm. Hi. Red. Sherm was very bad to me today. Hi Fred. He had the air conditioner on. Here we go. Letting all the pollen come in. You can't let pollen if the air conditioner's on. Yes, you can. How? It comes in from the outside. No, it don't because the fence closed. Yes, it, it just circulates the air in the room. Cindy can get the Well, Cindy doesn't know everything. hurt my eyes and my throat. And oh, my you just got an allergy. Yeah, from the outside. Oh, uh, it's not from the outside. And I've been missing for ever On a brighter note, quit mocking me. We are reading 1 Corinthians chapter 16 today. We are finishing 1 Corinthians today. We will officially have finished another whole book of the Bible today. High five, guys. High five, sure. <laughs> so, who knows what comes after 1 Corinthians? Can you guess? It should be fairly obvious. Nip. What comes after 1 Corinthians? Nip. Okay. After 1 Corinthians comes, I can't say you have to see tomorrow if you don't know. You have to see if you're right. So let's get started today. Let's finish up this 1 Corinthians with chapter 16. Now about the collection of the Lord's people. Do what I told the Galatian churches to do. On the first day of every week, each one of you should set aside a sum of money in keeping with your income, saving it up so that when I come, no collections will have to be made. Then when I arrive, I will give letters of introduction to the men you approve and send them with your gift to Jerusalem. If it seems advisable for me to go also, then I will accompany, they will accompany me. After I go through Macedonia, I will come to you, for I will be coming through Macedonia. Perhaps I will stay with you for a while, or even spend the winter, so that you can help me on my journey whenever I go. For I do not want to see you now and make only a passing visit. I hope to spend some time with you, if the Lord permits. But I will stay on at Ephesus until Pentecost, because a great door for effective work has opened to me, and there are many who oppose me. When Timothy comes, see to it that he has nothing to fear while he is with you, for he is carrying on the work of the Lord just as I am. No one then should treat him with contempt, Send him on his way in peace, so that he may return to me. I am expecting him along with the brothers. Now about our brother Apollos, I strongly urged him to go to you with the brothers. He was quite unwilling to go now, but he will go when he has the opportunity. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Do everything in love. 
you know that the household of Stephanus were the first converts in Achaia, and they have devoted themselves to the service of the Lord's people. I urge you, brothers and sisters, to submit to such people and to everyone who joins in the work and labors at it. I was glad when Stephanus, Fortunus, and Achaeus arrived because they have supplied what was lacking from you. For they refreshed my spirit and yours also. Such men deserve recognition. The churches in the province of Asia send you greetings. Aquila and Priscilla greet you warmly in the Lord, and so does the church that meets at their house. All the brothers and sisters here send you greetings. Greet one another with a holy kiss. I, Paul, write this greeting in my own hand. If anyone does not love the Lord, let that person be cursed. Come, Lord. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with you. My love to all of you in Christ Jesus. Amen. And that is the end of 1 Corinthians. We officially ended another book of the Bible together. Why do you think of that, guys? I just got through another book of the Bible. And now we're starting another psalm today. Psalm 40, verses 1 through 10, for the director of music of David, a psalm. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit out of the mud and mirror. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear the Lord and put their trust in him. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, who does not look to the proud, to those who turn aside to false gods. Many, Lord my God, are the wonders you have done, the things you plan for us. None can compare with you. Were I to speak and tell of your deeds, they would be too many to declare. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but my ears you have opened. Burnt offerings and sin offerings you did not require. Then I said, Here I am. I have come. It is written about me in the scroll. I desire to do your will, my God. Your law is within my heart. I proclaim your saving acts in the great assembly. I do not seal my lips, Lord. As you know, I do not hide your righteous in my heart. I speak of your faithfulness and your saving help. I do not conceal your love and your faithfulness from the great assembly. And that was Psalm 40 for the director of music of David, a psalm. Verses 1 through 10. And our Proverbs today is Proverbs chapter 22. one. If you heard that, that was our neighbors about knocking our pictures off the wall again. Just banging on the wall like crazy. Like no ticks.
A good name is more desirable than great riches. To be esteemed is better than silver or gold. A good name is more desirable than great riches. To be esteemed is better than silver or gold. And that was Proverbs chapter 22, verse 1. Alright guys, well that was our Bible reading for today. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. We'll go over to Sherm now for your homework. He's anxious to do it. So let's go over to Sherm. Your homework for last night was... Is the book of Josiah in the Old or New Testament. And the answer to that was? Neither. There is no such book. And your homework question for tonight is? Why couldn't Cain please God with his offering? Is that a serious question or a joke question? A joke. That's a joke question. All right. And that is your homework question again for tonight. Why couldn't Cain please God with his offer? And so let's get your prayer books out. They've been banging on the wall over there all day long. This is getting aggravating. I'm sorry. That's why I was like looking at the wall harshly. A lot of pictures of Dottie there. Dottie and Dottie and Sherman, Dottie and me, and me, Sherman, Dottie. They've knocked them off, Dottie off the wall before, where they bang into the wall so hard. I mean, it is like, it's like a sledgehammer coming through the wall. I mean, that's how, and it's ridiculous. It's just like they're kicking the wall with brute force. It's not just like, you know, somebody knocking on the wall. It's just like somebody kicking the wall really hard. I don't know how many kids they got over there. But I think this is what earlier showed me, but when the kids were in school, unless they got little kids that don't go to school, they were hanging on the wall. Maybe they're done. And I thought, shouldn't the kids be in school? And then I thought, well, maybe they're too young. But then I thought, if they're that young, they shouldn't be able to bang on the wall that hard. But I'm like, well, maybe it's the parents. But then I thought, well, why would they be banging on the wall? Let's keep Sandy in our prayers. She is off again tonight and tomorrow. So we get some more sister time. And so she's getting a break. So please pray for her when she goes back to work on Saturday. What's today? Thursday. When she goes back to work on Saturday. Please keep April and the Packer in your prayers. Please keep Eric in your prayers. He needs a kidney. Please keep Macy in your prayers. She's 
set of brain tumor. Still haven't heard nothing about her. Please keep Kenny Wellman in your prayers. He needs a kidney. Please keep Sherman in your, in your prayers. He goes to the doctor tomorrow. And you need to um, tell her about your blood pressure too. Well, she might, probably needs to up your medicine. You need to tell her about how it, how it was last night. Okay. His pulse, his blood pressure was really high, and his pulse was 169. It's scaring the crap out of him. And he's been hurt many shoulder blades. Clear through his chest really bad. Freaking me out. Please pray for Cindy Welsh. Please pray for Rhonda Karshner, Christopher Surbat, Abby and Jimmy Myers, Shannon and her son Giovanni. Giovanni is a little boy with a rare illness and he really needs God's healing touch. Please keep Roy and Lori Mollett in your prayers. They really um, need God's healing touch. Um, they both got a lot of health problems. No. They both got a lot of health problems. Please keep Debbie Lee in your prayers. She's got a lot of health problems. Please keep Tammy Ashworth in your prayers. She's got health problems. Please keep Brenda in your prayers. She is worse. She is back in the hospital again. She's got cancer on her liver, cancer on other organs as well, and she's back in the hospital again, worse. Please keep Zach in your prayers. He's got a brain injury and needs prayers just to be able to swallow and talk again. Please keep Sarah Gillum in your prayers. She's got a lot of health issues right now. She's been having to have pest of her bone marrow. Please keep Mindy Gallimore in your prayers. She gets God in her life for real. And treats her mom with respect and love. And treats her children with respect and love. And please keep Melody Rainey in your prayers and pray that she accepts God in her life as well. Mindy Gallimore and Melody Rainey, they both accept God in their lives. For real. And that was our prayer request. Well, let's say a prayer, then we'll be done. Brother Jesus and Father, please watch over everybody watching this video. Please let it have touched their hearts. Please watch over everyone on our prayer list. Please let Sandy enjoy her time off work. Please let her get refreshed and feel like a new person. She'll be working the whole time she's off. You know how she is. And, but please let her have a good time while she's off work. And please let um, it be better when she goes back to work. And please be a little Giov Giovanni and heal him. Please be with Mindy and Melly and let them bring you into their lives for real and turn their lives around. Please be with Sherman and heal him. Please be with Eric and give him the kidney he needs. And give Kenny the kidney he needs. Please take away Macy's brain tumor. 
please be with Brenda and heal her body. Please take away all her cancer and make her body like new. Please be with Zach and open up his airway and let him be able to swallow and talk again. Please be with Sarah and help her with whatever's going on in her body. Please be with everyone else in our prayer list, Father. You know their needs more than we do. Please be with Abby and Jimmy. You know what their needs are. You know everyone's needs more than we do, Father. We love you, Father. I love you, Brother Jesus and Father, with all my heart and soul. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. That was everything. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. And God willing, I will see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.